late night or day I don't need a certain time I can bring her back when I want to Oh, but only in my mind I can bring her back in Melons. My name's Keith Williams with Fret More Guitar Lessons, where we print more, stress less, and make a whole lot of music. We're going to do some country music tonight, as we typically do. Anyway, we do a little rock and roll here and there and throw that in, but <laughs> we always kind of go back to our country roots, don't we? So anyway, we're going to do this uh, great song. Uh, we got about four chords in this thing, and G uh, capoed up one. Uh, that's what he does then anyway, and so uh, and he uses a capo on it, so some of you uh, non-believers of capos. <laughs> what do you call you? I don't know what to call you people. Anyway, uh, but anyway, Ken Mellons is using a capo on the video, so I, I watched it. So anyway, we're going to capo up one, and if you want to play that in G sharp open, that's fine, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it capo the easy way, easy peasy, and that's a fun way to play this song, great song, uh, and G's one of my favorite chords anyway, so uh, G, C, D, and we got a G seventh in there, so let's jump right into this thing, if you could give us a thumbs up on this, subscribe to us if you would, and here we go, all right, let's jump on into this thing, capo it up one, we got a G chord right there, seems like the light's kind of bright on my fingers there, I got my... <laughs> My hands are so wide, a little, a little bright light on doesn't help anything, I'll tell you what. Uh, I do that G and I do this G. You do whichever G you want to. I jump to this one sometimes because I'm doing a G7. So all you got to do is raise your pinky off the uh, first string, third fret. Put it on the first string, first, first fret, and you got it right there. So C and a D, all right? And that's all we got right there. So, uh, But anyway, you play that G however you want to, and we'll, it ain't going to bother me none at all. So whatever's comfortable for you, that is what makes the difference. So here we go. I'm going to do some licks here. I probably should have done that before I got this microphone back up in my mouth here, but uh, um, a lot of finger picking on this one. I'm doing a lot of finger picking, and, and you can do, I, I got my fingernails grown out in my second and third finger, um, but uh, you don't have to. I mean, you can, even if you've got a short nail, you can still kind of pluck it a little bit, uh, or you can use a pick. It doesn't matter. And I'm not doing anything fancy. I really ain't. Uh, it may sound, you know, kind of okay, but it's it's not fancy. It's just, and he's not doing anything. You know, whoever's playing it on the record's not fancy. It's just, just coming up the strings down, grabbing that that low note there, with G, on the sixth string, and just kind of coming down there. And so, a little lick that I'm doing is on the fourth fret uh, or on the fourth string, excuse me, a uh, second fret. And uh, it's just a little, and you you don't have to do this. You can just do the finger picking. And it's just a, a, it's a hammer on and then off. And I don't even know if I played that right. I did a cover on this, by the way, and I'll have a link to that cover down in the description. You can uh, follow along with it, but I don't even know if I did this lick right. Because it's, uh, it's that. It's down, uh, hammer on, and then open, and then grabbing the uh, fifth string on the third fret. And then I'm just doing a, a pull off on the first string second fret just in that D position and then just up the second and third string and I'm pulling off that third string and then we're going so D to C but I'm what I'm doing on that is just grabbing that first, uh, second string actually uh, the B string second and third both times and you can do but anyway, I'm just doing it. Anyway, so that's that's really the only only lick that's going on in the whole song. I can't remember if I played that right or not. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the other video now. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, and so that's that's the whole only lick there is. Uh, and then just throughout the song, I'm doing. Now sometimes when I'm doing the C, I'm grabbing the uh, first string, third fret. So you'll hear that once in a while. And it's just random. I'm not going to have a you know, special uh, time I'm doing that. And I might do a little hammer on on that, uh, raising that uh, middle finger. I like to do that once in a while, raise that off that uh, 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 first string there. And I don't know if I'm doing any D-sus stuff there or not. I may maybe throwing in my, my pinky there once in a while on that third string. But anyway. 
Am I doing a lot of talking? I'm sorry. We're going to get right into this. Here we go. The slamming of the door was loud enough to wake the dead. See there. I'm probably grabbing that C, that uh, first string here. I don't love you anymore. Was the last word she said. So you notice when I did that D, I raised up my middle finger. And that just gives it a little flair, a little something different there, you know. Uh, and he may be doing some of that, some of it he may not be doing. Doesn't really matter. Just whatever feels good to you, you know, however it sounds. Just to get in the flow of it and enjoy playing it, doesn't matter, okay? All right, second part of this uh, verse. You know a man can go half crazy If nothing's left to hold on to her. See there, okay? Back to G. But she forgot, sorry, back to D, sir. She forgot to take the memories And they'll see Same thing again, so I'm going down. I'm going down on the D on the fourth, fourth and third. I told you I was coming up on the uh, second and third. I really didn't do that there. I did on when I got over here, I did. But I didn't that time, I just went down. Because it's kind of a quick lick, so I, I, I told you wrong on that beginning part, I think. On that, uh, you know, coming up, just just do it one, just on the B string, the second string. Okay, and then <clears throat> going into the chorus, we're going to do our G seventh here a couple times on this one. So, uh, cause I can bring her back when I want to. Now I'm doing the strumming now, and I'm just alternating. I'm grabbing that fifth string, down up four string. Almost close enough to touch. I'm doing six and four. My every thought keeps telling me D there. Just fourth and third. I don't have to give her up. Here we go, G7. I can bring her back night or day. It's fifth and fourth. I don't need a certain time. G7 again. I can bring I'm doing that C, it's just, I'm going, you see, I'm kind of in that position, but I'm really just, it's uh, the only fingering that I'm doing there is just uh, my first finger on the second fret there, or first fret, second string, and so the, the third string's open. I'm, like I said, I'm going in the C position, but you don't have to. So I'm just... All right, anyway, the second verse, I don't even know if I need to go over the second verse. It's going to be the same progression. It's just, uh, it's left all the family pictures. Still hang on, on see. Back there in the closet. So it's just G, C, and D all the way through this. It was the last new dress I bought. Felt like a George Jones tune or a little, little, uh, lick there, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you call it, vocal thing. I don't know what, there's probably a name for it, but I don't know what it is. I live back in the country. I don't know a lot of uh, fancy words. So anyway, it's, it's, it's all the way through this. G, C, and D throughout those verses, okay? And then we come out of that verse, it goes back into the chorus again. There's no lead part or anything. That's, the only lead is that in between the, uh, the after the uh, first chorus. And then he repeats that, uh, and I'm not even sure if I did that right, come to think of it at the end of it. Uh, he repeats that last line. I can bring her back. Let's see, uh, let me go to the last line. Oh, but only in my mind. I forgot to do that part. I can bring her back when I want to. So he's just doing that last line, goes to the C, and then back to the G. I'm doing just a down, I'm doing sixth, fourth, and uh, third. Let's see. Yeah. Six, 
next fourth third. And then fourth again. And then the first. But I do it different sometimes. So, so that time I went sixth, fourth, second, third, and first. So it just I do it different different times. So anyway, just just play around with that pick. And I like to say I'm using my fingers. You can do the pick. So don't think you have to use your fingers if that's not something you're used to. You can work on that, uh, you know, as you go. But uh, if, you, if you're not used to doing that, just use your pick. It's fine. So anyway, Ken Mellons, what a great song. Let's check out some of his other stuff. Uh, we did. Uh, let's see, we did one of his. What was the one we did? Oh, it was, it was an old. Uh, it was an older song that he really did. But anyway, I forget, forget the name of it right now. But uh, great song. I'll, I'll put it in a playlist out there so you can check it out. Uh, again, thumbs up if you could. Subscribe to us. Check out the link to the cover down in the description below. Some other links down there you might be interested in. And check out other videos out on Fretman. We'll see you all in the next one. All right? Thanks. Mm -hmm.